Parsecs got loads of different use cases. From hosting online fighting game tournaments, to collaborating with other creatives on top secret projects in any of the fancy programs we've become accustomed to using for work. One of the most tried and true examples that could be the reason you're parsecing in the first place? Online co-op. Or making games that are labeled local multiplayer only magically work online as if they actually had online multiplayer. If you're new here, this might sound like crazy talk, but it's possible, and it's the power of Parsec, baby. Did you know that same way of connecting to friends or strangers to play, share, and watch games together via Parsec can also be done on your Xbox consoles? I'm talking Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and even the Series S. No, we don't have an official app on Xbox. And I know a lot of you use the web browser on your Xboxes to connect to us for a few scenarios. I've seen it. But that's not what I'm talking about either. Imagine those same couple of steps you take to get an online sesh going on Parsec. Now, add a couple more steps, an Xbox, and voila! You're playing games from your Xbox, on your PC or Mac, with your friends. What exactly does this mean? I'm glad you asked. This gives you the super rad ability to play Xbox Series X or S or Xbox One console games on Parsec. Play local multiplayer Xbox Series X or S or Xbox One games online. Play Xbox exclusives on your PC or Mac online with friends. Play Xbox games with friends even if they don't have an Xbox of their own. Play Xbox Game Pass and local Game Pass titles online with friends. The possibilities really are endless and ultimately up to you and your big brain maneuvers, but I figured I'd name some. I mentioned also playing with strangers earlier, so don't forget that if you don't have any available friends at the time or you're feeling dangerous, you can use the arcade to make a session public and let anyone roaming the lane of Parsec come join. Step 1. Make sure to install Parsec if you haven't done so by now. Step 2. Install Xbox Remote Play also if you haven't done so. A good portion of Windows users will already have it on their machines. Step 3. Make sure the Xbox you want to connect to is turned on, run the Xbox Remote Play app on your machine, and connect to your desired console. You can even set your Xbox Remote features to automatically turn on your console when initiating Xbox Remote Play. It's a small side quest, but totally worth it. All you gotta do is press the Xbox button on your controller, select Profile and System, select Settings, select Devices and Connections, select Remote Features, from the Remote Feature settings, scroll down to Power Mode and select Instant On. Step 4. Open Parsec, host a session from either the Arcade tab or the Computers tab, then send the big link to anybody you want to connect directly to you. Step 5. Once everyone is connected, you'll all begin seeing the same screen at the same time, so all that's left to do is choose the Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, or Xbox Game Pass title you want to play and have your guests plug in their controller. Now, as awesome as all this sounds, there is one small disclaimer I gotta throw out there. No, God! Though the steps do work on both PC and Mac, guest controller permissions are not currently a part of Mac hosting. Meaning, if you're gonna host sessions on Parsec through a Mac, any guest or guests you have can only operate keyboards and mice at your discretion. This may or may not get in the way of some of those Xbox plus Parsec plans you had already brewing in the old noggin. We promise, the goal is still to get hosting on Mac as beefy as hosting on Windows, so thanks for bearing with us for now. With all that said, it's time to put all these newfound possibilities to the test and enjoy gaming with the freedom you always wanted. So what are you waiting for?